ways. You can visit us on the internet at islamalways.com where our website is always open 24 hours a day. This is your host Yusuf Estes with a special presentation in a series about Muhammad A to Z. In the first part of our series we've already dealt with the subject of what others have had to say about Muhammad. Those who are not Muslims yet realize the tremendous influence that he, peace be upon him, has had to contribute for our world today. Now let us consider what his followers and friends have said about Muhammad. Peace and blessing be upon him. To begin, you may be a Christian Protestant, a Catholic, a Jew, an atheist, or an agnostic, or perhaps belong to many of different religions and denominations existing in today's world. You might even be a communist or believe in man's democracy as the rule on earth. Whoever you are, and whatever ideological or political beliefs or social habits you may hold, there is no doubt you should understand what others have had to say about this man. The world has had its share of great personalities, but these were one-sided figures who distinguished themselves in but one or two fields, such as religious thought or military leadership. The lives and teachings of these great personalities of the earth are shrouded in the mist of time. There is so much speculation about the time and place of their birth, the mode and style of their life, the nature and detail of their teachings, and the degree and measure of their success or failure, that it is impossible for humanity to reconstruct accurately the lives and teachings of these great men and women. But this is not the case of this man, Muhammad, peace be upon him, who accomplished so much in such diverse fields of human thought and behavior in the fullest blaze of human history. Every detail of his private life and public utterances has been accurately documented and faithfully preserved up until our day. The authenticity of the records so preserved are vouched for not only by the faithful followers, but even by his prejudiced critics. Muhammad, peace be upon him, was a religious teacher, a social reformer, a moral guide, an administrative colossus, a faithful friend, a wonderful companion, a devoted husband, a loving father, all in one. No other man in history ever excelled or equaled him in any of these different aspects of life. But it was only for the selfless personality of Muhammad, peace be upon him, to achieve such incredible perfection. He was by far the most remarkable man that ever set foot on the earth. He preached a religion, founded a state, built a nation, laid down a moral code, initiated numerous social and political reforms, established a powerful and dynamic society to practice and represent his teachings and completely revolutionize the worlds of human thought and behavior for all times to come. Muhammad, peace be upon him, was born in what was then known as Felix Arabia. That was 1400 years ago. He started his mission of preaching a religion of monotheism and a way of life based on the surrender, submission, and obedience to the commandments of Almighty God. In sincerity and in peace, the word Islam in Arabic means the submission to God in peace. Muhammad's mission, peace be upon him, began at the age of 40, and he departed from this world at the age of 63. During his short period of 23 years in prophethood, he changed the complete Arabian Peninsula from paganism and idolatry to the worship of one God, from tribal quarrels and wars to national solidarity and cohesion, from drunkenness and debauchery to sobriety and piety, from lawlessness and anarchy to disciplined living, from utter bankruptcy to the highest standards of moral excellence. Human history has never known such a complete transformation of a people or a place before or since. And imagine all of this, these unbelievable wonders occurring in just over two decades. Muhammad, peace be upon him, was nothing more or less than a human being. But he was a man with a noble mission, which was to unite humanity on the worship of one and only one God. 
and to teach them the way to honest and upright living based on the commandments of God. He always described himself as a servant and messenger of God, and so indeed every action of his proclaimed to be. Today, after a lapse of fourteen centuries, the life and teachings of Muhammad, peace be upon him, have survived without the slightest loss, alteration, or interpolation. These teachings offer the same undying hope for treating mankind's many ills, just as they did when he was alive. This is not the claim of Muhammad, peace be upon him's followers, but the inescapable conclusion forced upon any critical and unbiased historian. The least you can do as a thinking and concerned human being is to stop for a moment and ask yourself, could these statements sounding so extraordinary and revolutionary really be true? And supposing they really are true, and you did not know this man Muhammad, peace be upon him, or did not hear about him, isn't it time you responded to this tremendous challenge and put some effort to know him? It will cost you nothing to learn more about the life of Muhammad, peace be upon him. But it could prove to be the beginning of a completely new era in your own life. We invite you to make a discovery of this wonderful man, Muhammad, peace be upon him, the like of whom has never walked on the face of this earth before him, nor since. Visit our internet website for more about Muhammad, A to Z, at islamalways.com. Until next time, peace. Salaam alaikum.